What's up everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of myinvestingclub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at myinvestingclub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. Good morning, guys. It's Tom Dizzo here. Um, I hope you guys had a great weekend. And um, uh, today uh, we're gonna go over uh, to one of the topic uh, that uh, one of the member uh, mentioned in after hours. And uh, so I thought I could, uh, you know, go over it quickly so that you guys have an idea uh, on how to trade them and you know if if they can like, uh, come around and uh, so that you know what to do. Uh, so uh, the topics today is how to trade kind of momentum stocks, uh, day one hot check uh, with abnormal volume, right? And how can we, uh, you know, trade them and take advantage of them? And, uh, you know, again, uh, before I even start, I just want to kind of warn uh, you guys something that this is not the optimal setup. Uh, on how to grow an account and also this is not really the setup that I like uh, but you know sometimes uh, I saw them and I try to you know take some scalp out of it you know just really small shares uh, and uh, because it's um, you know it is very dangerous uh, to trade something like that you know especially when you knew and because uh, you know a lot of liquidity a lot of, a lot of uh, you know uh people interest uh, uh in that stock uh each day and and for the last week uh, as you can see there's so much you know there's so much volume coming into the market you know with the older robin hood kind of stuff and uh and you you've seen a lot of uh tickers that went you know up like 100 or 200 percent it's like nothing right and and also uh you know the amount of volume i'm seeing for the last week is just you know insane and you know i've i have never experienced uh, something like that before uh even you know the corona thing it was hot but uh, volume wise is is really you know nothing to compare to this so uh let's uh, get on to it i mean uh I'm going to pull up the chart. Xpy was like crazy uh, as well, but I think the m most recent one was like genus. Yeah, something like this. I'm um, sorry for all the wicks, uh, you know, TOS kind of swore up, uh, you know, lately for the last few days. I don't know why. Uh, some something wrong with the platform and <coughs> they couldn't they couldn't, you know, uh clear out the noise here with the late print. And it's just really frustrating, uh, and so I had to use uh, you know trade zero chart next to this one. But yeah, it's it's really annoying. So on something like Genus, and uh, we we talk about this uh, in the main chat as well. Alex, me, uh, you know, Bao, and almost everyone uh, try to warn you guys that you you really don't want to anticipate the front side, uh, I, I, you know, I, especially when shorting right you really don't want to be shorting into something like this look at the volume you know the the first day when the second day the third day is just huge and and you got like the move something like this went to like 11 and then to four so how can you trade that usually it's it's really hard to trade those uh, especially at the open so what i usually is uh do is i try to avoid them at the open and I, I try to kind of look for them kind of in the afternoon and when the actions uh, kind of, uh, you know, slow down a little bit and uh, there's no, not much volume, right, you know, throughout the day. And when the volume dries down and and uh, I, I just want to, you know, take advantage of the move, uh, you know, some, some of the just, you know, scalp, that's all.
Yeah, this is the day where it had the most action, the second day here. So let's have a look at this. So in the pre-market, oh, maybe you can see here the trend is really intact, right? Uh, uh, dip below view app reclaim uh, and then, you know, the holding view app and made a new high after that, I think around like, uh, you know, zombie time and again, dip below here, trap some people here, reclaim and then base on, you know, overview app again. And it's just kept grinding, grinding higher, 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 right? So in the next day, it, it, you know, it ran in after hours as well. Uh, next day, try to break this. And once this broke the pre-market, I mean, you, you can easily tell that momentum is, is really strong on this one, right? It broke the previous high or like the pre-market high, after hours high yesterday. And after that, it just went straight to the moon. So the best way on how I would trade them, it has to be alongside, right? When you see something like this, you know, it uh, made a new high in after hours uh, and then kind of not gapping up uh, in the morning, but it's like it's it's holding, right? It's trying to break this high. And once this break, you can see here, once this break, this is the this is the confirmation for long, right? So you want to be long into those dips, you know, uh, into this uh, kind of pre-market high. And, and, and as you can see here, it really, uh, you know, if you are like Harry or I you know um, some of you went long there, uh, but uh, again, I'm, I'm not good at long, but when it comes to something like this, I want to know because I'm a short bias trader, right? So I want to know, uh, you know, where to not short stock. And this is the reason I'm not, you know, touching it. This is the reason why I'm not shorting the stock based on the, the information that stock given me and also the price action and you can see here it this is you know this is really solid first bounce you can tell here look at this uh, i mean you know pre-market high right after open right stock pops you know that's the confirmation broke this high already that's a confirmation to uh to us right so the you know the the trend is is really strong the stock broke the you know pre-market high and also the after hours or whatever uh the high from yesterday and then you know broke through that with authority it's like four to four point five here and then you want to really you know this is this is the great first bounce i think harry's been talking about this is right here look at this uh you know pre-market high just you know right on the dot i mean 495 or 5 and also the view app is right here i mean this is perfect even though i'm not a good long bias trader i mean i didn't check this trade but i mean yeah of course you know it's easy in high time uh, when when you see this but the odds are there for you i mean you know the view app uh conforms to the pre-market high i mean the more information you got and also it kind of line up, uh, you know, with, with the thesis. I mean, pre-market high here, the view app is here, the whole and half dollar mark is here, right? So this is the best for the first bounce. And, you know, you can base off your risk, I don't know, maybe 20 cents here, maybe, I don't know, I'm broke under this line or this candle right here. So it's like you're risking, let's say, I don't know, 30 cents, right? five to four seventy but instead you could get you know from five to not like this but you know you know you could aim for like at least easily to this line is like 580 so 30 cents versus 80 cents you know that's more than two to one uh, uh risk reward ratio so uh this is really something i uh I, I would say that this is the best thing how to trade them on the the long side uh, you know, and after that, uh, as the day goes on, uh, you can look for the zombie hours as well. Uh, look at this. Uh, here is the zombie. And then stock trying to trap. Yep. So I'm not a good long bias, right? But what I would like to see here is after the zombie hours, if the stock is still holding view app, it's like it needs to hold. I want to see the stock base overview app. I want to see the stock is, you know, it could 
have uh, you know one quick pullback and, you know and then reclaim that means even better you know I, I like those even more because it's like you know trap the shorts you know if the stock pops all the way down here 4.2 and then quickly reclaim right and then it's just holding holding like this and and if you draw the trend line here this is uh, you know the zombie right you see uh, maybe this is just the wicks from the from a TOS late print uh, I think I think it's not a dip to this one yeah so uh, the first bounce in the, in the morning that's a one way to trade them the second way is uh, if you wait for them uh, you know after uh, after zombies all right so 1030 let's say 1030 to 11 you want to look for entry here so what I would like to see is the stock the move that I like the most usually is uh, when the stock really you know went through view app kind of trap shorts reclaim and then base over view app it's like grinding higher and higher higher those are the one I like the most and sometimes I even went long on those so yeah guys so I hope it's helpful today and uh, if you still have any questions just, just let me know hit me a DM in the chat and I'll see you uh, on the next one take care Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.